hey, Dominic, so we're talking about rhythm. This is some right hand strumming stuff that, that this stuff works for literally hundreds of songs. So this will be really good. And we're going to get into it uh, with a song by Green Day here next week. We just learned the first couple of chords from it first. So we'll start out with that. But first of all, whole note, half note, quarter note, and eighth note sound something like this. Whole note. about a whole note rest. Off. Two, three, four. Whole note. Two. Now half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Half note rest. One, two. Here's quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two. How about the rest on one? One. examples with the eighth notes my hand is just like a clock tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock for an example of that watch any guitar player you know for for an entire show you know their hand just it just keeps the rhythm you know we're going to get our get our foot tapping with the beat hand and foot are coordinated down up down up down up down up and all that's going to go in the same direction and, and hopefully result in some some really great sound and music. That's that's hopefully the result. You see you've seen it done before, I'd imagine. Um, now with this song, we've got that G chord. It's the first and second fingers down here, three and four on the uh, skinny two strings on the third fret there. This is a G chord, and then we're gonna move our one and two fingers down, just keeping the same pattern. Just move it down onto the next string, move it over there, and then we've got five strings. And that's a kind of a C chord called a C add two, C add two. So for this song, you know, you really could take any any one of these rhythms. We're going to do two measures of two measures of G, one measure of the C, and then back to the D chord, and that's the one we learned before. So how about with a whole note? It would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Second time, and then we got the C. We got the D. Quarter notes. Four times on that one. Four times on that one. How about eighth notes? Down, up, down, up. So really, in, the, in, in those four beats, for each one of those chords, you could try any one of those rhythm possibilities and uh, use that as an opportunity to, to get you know this some of this stuff going over here. And then just like we did before, take some time and, and maybe it's the switching over here that needs some work. So you could just play the chord, switch it, switch it, you know, take a minute and just practice the transition between those three chords. What's interesting about that is that, and you don't have to do this, but the third finger is in the same spot for all three of those chords. Hitters on the G, that finger's there. Here's the C, that finger's there. Here's the D, that finger's still there. So you can actually keep your third finger glued down on that third fret on that second string there the whole time if you want to. But sometimes it's hard to develop that kind of in independence with your fingers. So maybe just think, think about that while you're working on it. Okay, great. We'll see you next time. Tap your foot while you're doing this stuff. That always helps. And count. That's, that's what we're learning. Okay, thanks, man.